Hello everyone, welcome to CodeSunder.com. If you are new to my channel, you can uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get an instant notification. And you can also follow me on a Facebook, links on the description. And this video is sponsored by MyTeamWorks.com. This video, I'm going to do some modification on our existing project. Like uh, I'm going to change some text and I'm going to add some images over there. So, but I don't want to run uh, the application every time on the device. So, I just want to run the application on my browser. To run the application on the browser, so you have to execute Ionic Serve. Ionic Serve and make sure you are on the working directory. So when you are running the Ionic Serve, so mostly uh, the UI based thing and uh, making the HTTP request, so everything you can test it on the browser itself. So you don't want to run the application on the device every time because it's time consuming. So to save our time, so I'm just executing Ionic Serve and I'm going to test it on the browser. Here you can see our application is running on the browser. So just right click and click inspect. So here you can see our application is running on the browser. So the same UI for our Android and our iOS, okay? So let's make some changes. So to change the UI, so it's a home page, right? So we have to go to the SRC folder and inside the SRC, go to the app folder and here you can see home folder. So to change the layout, so you need to edit home.html. So here inside the content, I'm just going to remove everything and put H1 Hello World. And you can see the uh, toolbar, something like that. So let's make some changes over there. Coachinder.com. So let's save the file. So after the file changes, so here you can see it will automatically reload your application. So here you can see the result without refreshing. So the title of the application has changed and we have used some hello world text. So this is a normal HTML thing, okay? So you can add some SAS file here, okay? So I'm going to create a class called container. So display flex, because I'm going to make the text in a center. So justify content in center, align items in center. So let's create a div. Class name will be container. So let's save the file and see the changes. So here you can see our text is on a center and uh, let's, let's do some color over there. So under the container, we have a H1 tag. So container, H1. So let's make some color. Um, let's make it the green. Save it. Here you can see we have changed our color. So to add an image, we have to use a normal HTML tag, okay? So, image src and uh, for the source, I'm just uh, passing the URL. Okay, so we can add height and width over there. Let's save the file and see the changes. So, here you can see we have added the image and the text. So, let's make the flex direction into the column to show the image and text below, okay. So here you can see, so we have displayed the image and some text over there. You can add any HTML tag as per your wish. So next I'm going to teach how you can, so here we, we made a web request, right? So how to display a local image instead of making a web request. So I'm just hiding this. So image src, the same code, but here we have to use the local source file. To do that, this is very important. So
so you have to go to your project and go to your src folder so here you can see a folder called assets so inside the assets you have to paste your image so i'm just copying this image and putting here logo.png so here you need to use dot assets slash logo.png and this is very important so far uh, in, a, in a previous video we have used a resources folder this is for icon okay so this is for app icon but uh, so here inside the app we are displaying the image so for that you have to go to the src folder and then assets folder so here you have to paste so you, even you can create a new folder to keep all images so i, I simply put the images here okay so logo.png so that's it so let's save the file and see the changes so here you can see we can see the output so let's run it on the device so i'm just uh, disabling this one so let's see the result okay so here you can see the first one is coming from a web request and the second one is coming from your internal app so let's run it on the device so to run it on the device so i need to hold over an android so here you can see after running it on the device so the first one we made a web request and the second one is coming from the local i mean the inside the app so the same thing goes for ios thank you so much for watching this video uh, you can get the source code links on the description and if you want to learn more about ionic visit codesinter.com slash ionic tutorial uh, if you are new to my channel hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get an instant notification and finally this video is sponsored by mythemebox.com uh, where you can get the ionic themes and starters and uh, if you want any training uh, like a one-to-one -one training we are, we still offer that you just to visit uh, codesinter.com slash training hey guys see you on next video